Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And today, I am joined by Ron Lyle and Josh Whale. How are you doing Josh? You alright, yeah, nice to see you gentlemen. Yeah. Looking well Dennis with that uh, scarf and... Don't drag it on. <laughs> Don't drag it on. <laughs> right Josh, you've just won IBO International Belt, how are you feeling? Yeah, all good, I mean, it was a great, great night. Um, it was probably best performance of a career and yeah. uh, people find that um, extraordinary really when you think of how many title fights I've had in mm -hmm. you know 13 years of professional but you know I've lived life um, I've conducted myself the right way and uh, when that kid said about me in the first round there were two ways they were going to go so I was either going to get wiped out or I thought to myself back down on the gum shield and, and give it him back and that's yeah. what I've done for my career and uh, I bullied the bully and really he, did, mm -hmm. he didn't really know what to do when he got on back foot but you know, it was a great platform. My dad did a massive, you know, game plan. Uh, yeah. We, we had a great training camp. He told me what I needed to do, like he has done for my career. And we produced it. And Dennis and Steve gave me a platform on on uh, on live television to to do it. And my, my profile it was big before, but it's just it's just gone that again. And you know, yeah. the, the the nickname it's in Cinderella man. I keep coming back, but you know. Um, We've, we've done it all as a team and uh, mm -hmm. I think yeah. now we're, we're ending the year uh, in the best place I've ever been in my career. So. You have a good Christmas this year, Josh. Yeah, yeah, it just, 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 just shows you part of, uh, I've worked hard and I've, mm -hmm. I've yeah. got there. And, uh, You're in a good place, aren't you? Yeah, De yeah, Dennis has got massive plans and we're not, we're not finished yet. Right. Dennis, uh, Josh finishes year with you, 3-0. Uh, he's ended up finishing the year with an IBO belt, uh, international belt and a good ranking. Uh, the kid is beat with 28 and 1, he was a champion, southpaw, a specimen of a man, wasn't he, and his mm. big puncher. Mm. What did you think afterwards when the, Josh had his hand raised? What do you, what do you think? As, what regards, as regards what next for Josh now? Oh, I thought, what I thought, I thought what you Josh, could achieve? I thought Josh had definitely won it when he said it was a majority decision or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah. I, I thought that was a bit strange because I thought that Josh pulled away. Mm, yeah. uh, after the first round, I thought this was going to be a tough night for Josh. Yeah, I did, when yeah. he weighed in, I thought this kid's in shape anyway. Mm. Um, and I thought, and, and his demeanour about him, he was very, very confident. Yeah, he had a um, bit of swagger to him, didn't he? A bit of a swagger, a bit like you. Yes. And, <laughs> he, uh, and I thought, he fancies this job and, and 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 if Josh has got any second thoughts, he might struggle tonight. Yeah. And, um, it, it, he he took one or two in the first round, heavy shots. Josh obviously never budged him, but you could tell he uh, he took one or two heavy shots. Yeah. And uh, like he says, there were two ways: he'd either bite, got to bite down and, and bully the bully, or 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 he was going to get bullied himself. So it uh, it obviously he reversed. He broke the kid's heart and. Uh, like I say, he, he, he won pulling away for me and uh, it was a proud performance from Josh, but it was a proud performance, you know, for me really to, to, to think, well, I got involved with another kid and his dad who were proper people and the um, it, 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 we'd been justified every decision we'd made by teaming up together. We, back in mind, I thought there's plenty left in that kid. Yeah. His dad did, but obviously until you've actually done it, then you... you you know, you think there's plenty of left until you, yeah. until you show it. But you know, losing tricky decisions in Europe and then having one one off night against Brad Foster, it it doesn't define your career. And so, like they were little blips, but they're not blips; they're learners. So it's proved it's been a learner because, like Josh has just put, arguably the best performance of his career in, and like a featherweight. Yeah, a featherweight. And um, who's who's to say he's not, he's not gonna go and win something major now yeah, yeah. because Josh stood on somebody's toes like that he's a nightmare with his, with his, with his chin on their chest how, how do you get him off because yeah. he's got a granite chin and, and, and unless you get can keep that leverage you're going to struggle with it with Josh yeah. with, your, with Josh Whale and uh, you know people go oh, look I've had Carl Thompson when people said he, he, he were done Look what he did to yeah, Sebastian yeah. Rothman and then to David A. And the first round against first couple of rounds against David A he got knocked all over. Then he bullied the bullet. Yeah. So who's to say what, what Josh can, can can win now? So his people sat up now and taking Josh Whale serious again. 
like I say, he should have been probably a, a European, should have been sh sat a European champion, but maybe if he had been European champion, he, he might have wanted to be sat here with us. Mm. Uh, so, you know, the, there was still mileage left, but obviously the the the, uh, the job wanted doing properly, and uh, we're all on the same page, and we all make decisions together. So, yeah. upwards and onwards. Uh, we're not going to talk about what we spoke about earlier then now. No. All right. So what uh, what next now then? Are you going to have a look over Christmas and have a think about what you're going to do for Josh? Yeah, we um, and make a decision we, as a team. I suppose we, we don't make a decision. That's, yeah, yeah. that's the one thing yeah. when I'm talking to Josh's dad, there, mate. He he, yeah. he like it's not as though I'm trying to talk to somebody who I've got to educate and tell yeah. him why we we're thinking yeah. about doing these things. Yeah. He gets it and I get it. What he says. So. Um, so it makes my job easier, and, and when when we shake hands, the job's done. Yeah. Um, so that's why it's so much easier. But look, there's a there's a bit in, there's investment in t to get kids to where we we sometimes need to get them. Um, and obviously, there's been some investment here. But Josh Whale is the most successful fighter coming from Barnsley. Yeah. And when uh, when we go over to Barnsley on. February 21st, it's it's uh, it's going to be a big night for Barnsley. Yeah. And, you know, is it, is the bit of success, and there's been some talented people come out of Barnsley, mm -hmm. not just in sport, but Josh is up there with them. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm proud to be a, a, a associated with him, and and uh, like I say, we've got a bit more history to make now. I think mm -hmm. we, I did it with Jimmy McDonald in Doncaster, I did it with Stuart Hall in Darlington. Now, Stuart Hall, well, on that performance and, and looking, you know, your people like Stuart Hall, Josh as a, as a man and as a character and, and as a fighter, he's, he's a world champ for me. Yeah. So, um, I'm looking forward to us uh, making history again. Yeah, that's brilliant. So, it's an happy boat. Everybody seems to be happy, all Mick smiling over here, you're all happy, you're happy Dennis, Josh is looking forward to Christmas. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, <laughs> the whole world smiles with you. Right. Let's just wrap up it, wrap it up then with the show then, what do you think to the rest of the show, Tommy Frank? I think uh, the, old, the old show were, were a quality show and uh, yeah. obviously the icing on the cake with Josh yeah. and then you've got Tommy uh, with, with a quality performance as well. So and then you've got Cash Alley. I mean, the whole show were a quality show. I mean, yeah. you look at some of the Sky and whatever shows that has been up, well, up and down the years, you, that takes some beating a show like that. And, yeah. and um, for, for entertainment, atmosphere, uh, takes some beating. But consistently, we've put smashing shows on and, and we keep topping them. And that yeah. you think, am I going to top that next show? Well, that did again. Yeah. And and that's what we're doing. So Keenan Wainwright won, didn't he? Kane yeah, Salvin. He, yeah, we've done Suf. Hugh Suf, Suf won. Yeah. Phil Q Robert won, right? Yeah, yeah. So we, we've got um, then you've got Nathan. Yeah, Nathan, yeah, Owen, yeah. And then uh, Perry. Perry and, Drew, didn't he? Yeah, so it, it was a smashing show. So it uh, we're looking forward to another great show in, in Barnsley yeah. on February twenty first where yeah. he's gonna talk in his own town. And and I, and it's a great thing about Barnsley, it's it's, it's a big town. And uh, they love the sport in Barnsley, yeah. and uh, and obviously they love a, love a, a man to be a man, and that's what he is. And uh, yeah. and they should celebrate Josh while he's here because you know in, in three or four years' time when he decides to hang up his gloves, he's going to be producing champions himself, passing on his knowledge with his dad, and it's going to be a conveyor belt. So Barnsley better get used to having one or two champions because I think he's the first of many. Yeah. That's brilliant. Great then, well, uh, I'll wrap it up then. Uh, shout out to Innovation Alloys, AJ. AJ, I love you. <laughs> Alexander, Elliot, we love you. And uh, thanks for coming, Mick and Josh, and peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep Merry Christmas, boxing. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.